What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joseph, and in today's video, I have another trade idea on PayPal stock, ticker symbol PYPL. I'm gonna go over the technicals, show you exactly why you should be buying the stock, and then I'll also go into some call options I'm looking at buying. If you're going to enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more investing content like this. Also, if you wanna be a part of a free Discord community where you can ask me questions about anything or even hop into some of my plays, make sure to check out the Discord channel in the description down below. So getting right into the stock, as we can see, PayPal is a nice uptrending stock. I typically like to trade stocks that are in an uptrend because it makes my job pretty easy. As we can see, pretty recently, PayPal dropped because of earnings and they fell back to that 100 SMA on my chart, which is that reddish kind of line on the uh, screen you see. As we can see in the past as well, PayPal has consistently bounced off that 100 SMA, which is something we like to see. Now, with this trade idea, I am playing that bounce off of the 100 SMA. As we can see, the price is already starting to bounce from that moving average, so now is a great time to hop in. We are trading with the momentum back to the upside for PayPal. Not only that, but they do have a gap to fill right between 285 and $300 when they fell because of earnings. So given the fact that they have consistent support right around the 100 SMA and that gap is needed to be filled on the daily time frame, this is why I'm hopping into PayPal into some call options so that I can make some money on the way up. Another thing that I like to see is that the MACD is starting to curl back towards the upsides. This shows us a momentum change within the market. And as we can see, it's clearly switching, starting to switch towards the buyers. So that is something nice to see on the chart. This is a very easy setup to play. As I said before, they're bouncing off of that 100 SMA and we're looking to ride the move higher towards the upside. For my price target, I do have PayPal reaching back up to around $310. Not sure how long that's gonna take, but in the short term, within a week or so, I do see them filling that gap right around $300. So now let's get into Robinhood and show you the exact call option I'm looking at buying. So right here I have PayPal put up on my phone, and as we can see, they're down about $1.13 from Friday, and over the course of the week, they're up about $2.22, because as I said before, they're starting to bounce from that moving average. Now if we go over to trade options, and the expiration I'm looking at for this swing trade is September 17th, this is gonna give us plenty of time for PayPal to play out. I don't think it's gonna take that long for PayPal to head towards the upside, but picking a far out expiration like this is gonna limit our time decay and is gonna give us less risk when we are swing trading the stock. So the exact strike I'm looking at buying is this 300 call option and it costs about $292 at the time I'm film filming this. And if we go into depth, we'll see that the delta to theta ratio is pretty good. The delta is around $22. That shows us that we make $22 on our contract for every dollar PayPal goes up. Also, we'll see that there's plenty of volume and open interest in this contract. So there's already buyers in this contract as well, which I like to see. Now, if you wanna take on a little bit more risk and try to make more money, you can pick a closer expiration. You could pick something like August 20th and right at the money, you can buy this 280 strike for around $500. And as we can see, the delta is around 50 on this contract. So obviously the closer expiration you pick, the more that delta will be and the more money you make if PayPal rises sooner than expected. Now, that is the contract I'm looking at picking, September 17th, 300 strike. Let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below. And as I said before, the setup is fairly easy to play. We're just playing that bounce from the moving average and riding the momentum back towards the upside. If you learned anything from this video, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss when I upload. See you in the next one.